I got really good memories of F3. Um, obviously, I had a really good season in 2009. Um, but yeah, besides results, for me, the car was, was awesome to drive. It was the first real sort of mini Formula One. I mean, the engineers could, and you know, the team could pretty much design new parts on the car. Um, it was pretty custom, so it was a, sort of a real individual category, which, uh, which was cool. I think it made me a more complete driver from a technical point of view. So because the team could change more on the car and, and add in new little parts of aerodynamics or whatever, there was a lot more freedom with Formula 3. Um, it made me understand how a race car worked better. Um, technically, I became more fluent with my language and correlation towards the engineers. So uh, yeah, that was the next step, which I, I sort of lacked as a, as a rookie. And um, it definitely taught me to become a bit more, uh, a bit more smart behind the wheel of a car. Yeah, I think, you know, I've definitely been influenced by what I learned in Formula 3. You know, as I said, the, the technical side, um, Formula 1, it's, it's another step, and it, it prepared me a lot for that. Um, just it's forming those relationships with engineers as well and having that dialogue. Um, before Formula 3, I didn't really have that. You know, I was pretty novice to it all, and, um, yeah, then Formula 3, I feel I went up a step in, in terms of understanding and, and then that obviously helped me out now for, for F1. Racing at Macau, to be honest. Uh, I wish I wish Formula One went there. Um, it's the coolest the coolest race and, and the cars are they are perfect size for that track. You know, it's they're fast and nimble and, and the streets are very narrow there. So that was just a cool weekend and it was a rare weekend where all the drivers there wasn't really a championship, it's just one race at the end of the season. So all the drivers just go there and you know have a good time we mingle we eat and party together and uh, it's a good way to end the season I can tell you that yeah I think having um, you know categories and, and a pathway for, for junior drivers you know formula categories with wings and slicks and, and proper preparation you know towards formula one uh, it helps a lot I think it's it's great having you know yeah as I said now formula four and, and if you do well you move up and it all just makes sense and I think each step is it starts fairly basic but each step then learns you another bit more another bit more so i think by the time if you obviously make it to f1 um it's not so overwhelming and yeah i think all these junior categories junior programs help help mold a, a young driver a lot better these days so yeah third season with red bull um time goes quick that's for sure but you know i think we we experienced some highs and lows in the last two seasons and you know this this season hopefully we get back up on the the high end uh I think it should be better for us you know there's not many rule changes and I think for us there's a lot of room for improvement you know more than probably other teams so I expect a, a more successful 2016 for us and yeah hopefully more podiums and get back in the winner, winners column.